Hey there. So part four of our little SharePoint Basics series, we are going to be looking at site information and site settings. So at the moment, I'm on my team site template. Um, it will work exactly the same on the template that you've uh, used for your communication site. And if I click on the settings wheel in the top right hand corner, you'll see site information. So when I started updating the sites to a more modern look and feel, we suddenly went, where is the site settings? Okay, we got so confused by this. So if you go to site information, then you'll see it opens up directly for you to be able to change the site logo here, the site name, the description, and uh, and your settings. And you'll also see view all site um, settings. So I'm going to go and uh, let's do a little test and change our uh, site logo. Let's find something cool that we can use. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Maybe I should. I think that'll work for me. And uh, SharePoint team site. Um, let's change this into uh, SharePoint super size. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to just uh, save that for now. I just want to see um, what it does to the site. So let's have a look. So you'll notice that it's changed the name, but, um, well, you can't see it on my screen, but it didn't change the URL for the site. So the URL stays the same. There you can see my little um, new icon. And then, of course, um, if you're still on uh, 2013 or SharePoint 2016, site settings to access the site settings works a little bit different. Um, here's where you can see how you can access site settings. I am going to go back to, uh, to the settings. So if I go back to site information, you'll see that it's got a little link there. It says view all site settings. So let's just go and have a look in, uh, in, the, in the site settings. I always tell my students, please, 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 even if you have the access, don't do crazy stuff if you're not sure what it's going to do. Uh, rather go and read up a bit and understand fully what the impact would be before you try and do something crazy. So um, this is where you'll see um, my site collection admin rights as well. If you don't have site collection admin, then you will not see this section of, uh, of the site settings. This is where I can see my term store management, um, managing the site features. This is where all the search scope, etc., is site columns and the content types. And here's also where you can set a quick launch and changing the look, etc. So please be very careful. Do not not change this here if um, if you're not sure at what uh, what the impact will be of it. So for now, always a good thing to see what there is and go and read up a bit more. But uh, do not make any changes until you understand the impact. Be careful of changing names of sites. Be careful of just changing logos and um, always make sure that this is um, in compliance with uh, your corporate ID or uh, whoever else the site owners might be. So please uh, take it slow when you start looking at the site settings and rather be careful and uh, go do some research first before you make crazy changes to your SharePoint site. So we looked at uh, the site information. I'll just repeat that. This is where you'll find the site information. And as soon as I go to site information, I can then from there change the logo for the site. I can change the name, the description of the site. I can also change the settings. And uh, this is where I can go to view all site settings on my site. So uh, catch you soon. In the next session, we'll be looking at um, changing the look or the theme of your site. And that's going to be a lot of fun.